Today I have a Christmas haul, but I'm also going to haul a few things that I didn't get for Christmas that since this is a fashion and beauty haul, I thought would be appropriate. So let's start off with the Christmas themed items. This is my stocking. We did stockings this year, so let's we'll quickly go through what's in it. The first is this Charity Pot Lotion from Lush. I just plan to put this in my purse. And it was, I think these are $5. I see them there quite often in the water tower. And it really just smells like cocoa butter. And yeah, it's soft. I've used it it's long after Christmas, y'all. <laughs> I got two lipsticks in my stocking. I'm wearing this one today. It is Spirit by MAC. I love how all MAC lipsticks smell like vanilla. I just noticed that like two MAC lips lipsticks ago, which is really ridiculous. Next, in my stocking, I got another MAC lipstick, Captive. As you probably could tell, both of these are more like neutral colors. I have so many super bright, like, blinging off your lips colors. I wanted some things that were a little bit more subtle for Christmas. Next is a L'Oreal Power Volume Collagen Enhanced Mascara. I'm wearing this today. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. Next are a ton of Lush items. The first is the Christmas Eve Bubble Bar. It smells like lavender. It smells so good. This is a bubble bar. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's glittery. I've had this one before, and I really do enjoy it. Next is a bath melt. I'm not sure what this one's called either, but I've had this one before. It is a year round one, and I do quite enjoy it as well. This one is the Comforter Bubble Bar. I've used it a little bit, as you can tell. This one is my all-time favorite. It's huge. It makes really great bubbles. And it smells like cotton candy and bubble gum. Next one is the Present. It looks like a little present on the top. Apparently, this is like a bath melt, and it has Pop Rocks. I mean, not a bath melt, a bath bomb. And it has pop rocks. And if you shake it, you can hear something in there. So there's a little present on the inside. Finally, one of my favorite Christmas bath bombs. This is Cinders. This one smells just like cinnamon. And I believe it has pop rocks in it as well. And finally, in my stocking, was just these little mustard colored gloves from Target. They're fingerless. And then they convert into mittens. Yay. Some things that were not in my stocking that I got for Christmas were these. These are the Unif Grim Creeper. They have like a little eye in the front as well as studs on both sides. And they are a creeper, although the platform is about maybe like a half an inch here, then an inch here, and I love the grips on the bottom. If you follow my blog, Fat Shopaholic, regularly, these were in my last outfit. I actually snuck and wore them before Christmas. Sorry, Mom. And I really, really enjoy these. I got these in a men's 12 from Soulstruct. And they run about a half a size big, but I'm glad it is getting colder here. So I've worn these with really thick gym socks, and they are still, and they're really quite warm, and they still fit really well. And I forgot to mention the little unif symbol embossed on the back. Really like that. The other pair of shoes I got for Christmas were these opening ceremony for Adidas also from Soul Strug. These were sold out everywhere else because this collection came out like summer 2012. These are so cool. They are rubber dress shoes and they're see-through. So what you're seeing this white stuff, this is the paper on the inside. And I cannot wait till summer comes and I get like a black skater dress and I just wear like polka dot socks. These are going to be so epic, and I think this is the one so struck. I got the men's 10, and they fit really well. So every year, my little brother gets me a CD, and this time he got me Odd Future, the mixtape, volume 2. I love this cover with the donuts. And next, my friend Christopher got me this super cute Betsy Johnson iPad case. It has jewels on it and it's sequined all over and when you open it it just has like a little pocket and a little folder 
and it secures your iPad with these little thingies. So I also picked up a few items from the Domino Dollhouse Astronauts Collection Part 1 and 2. This dress I missed and had to pre-order because it sold out. I pre-ordered it in the beginning of December, like December 1st, and got it like in the last few days of December. And it is the Cosmic Baby Doll Dress. It's just it hits really high at the bust as you can see and then it kind of flares out and it's long sleeve and it's in this awesome galaxy print it's really hard to show you the whole thing fit wise i am not super impressed with the fit but not so i'm impressed that i'm gonna send it back because i think it's more so my body this dress is really really stretchy so i do feel like it would fit people bigger than me if you could compromise on the length and the sleeves because we you know what happens when you stretch things sleeves get shorter hems get shorter this hits me right below the knee which I think is a good length for baby doll dress my issue is the sleeves I have the sleeves are short on me but I think that, that may just be me whenever I buy long sleeve shirts regardless of how it fits it can be super baggy in the chest area the sleeves are always just a touch short so they're not so short that it looks bad instead of coming like to here they come like to here Maybe. yeah so I still really like this dress definitely check it out before it sells out again and don't forget to use a 10% off coupon next thing I got in the same vein were the leggings same print just in legging form also get on these before they sell out again these were really dope I wore these to the water tower here in Chicago and I got so many compliments so many people thought that these were from black milk they're not but they're just as cool and not as expensive and they actually make plus sizes so go Domino dollhouse my only issue slight issue with the fit they fit me well in the thigh and in the knee not too baggy however the waist I felt like I kept having to hold it up, um, pull it up. It wouldn't fall all the way down. It just wouldn't sit, like, right on my love handles. Like, I like it to sit. And I found that these were a little bit short. But I went back and looked at the model and how they fit on other people. And I realized if they just do come up, like, to your ankles a little bit. Um, I just like mine to be a little bit baggier, like the striped leggings I have from Domino Dollhouse, but I do love them. Tons of compliments. I got the 3X, and in case I didn't mention it in the dress, I got the 4X. So this next piece is from part two. It is the denim cheetah print motorcycle jacket, and it looks like this. Um, hard to show it off. So things I do like about this jacket, I do like that it's unlined because like it says on the website, it allows for a lot of flexibility in sizing. The sleeves were really, really long on this. They are, they're like too long, but I like that. I like my sleeves to be a little bit too long. But the weird thing about the fit is that this is the 26 and it fits. And I feel like it would zip and close because I feel like it will zip and close around my boobs, surprisingly. However, for some odd reason, the band at the bottom of like the jacket is not stretchy, but the rest of the jacket though is like really, really stretchy. So the bottom, the band part will not close. But the rest of the jacket will close. So I just find that a little bit strange. And $60 is a lot to pay for a jacket that won't zip up. So I may be sending this back. The 28 is only 2 inches bigger. So even with the 2 inches it's probably not going to close. Just because the ends have like the bottom band has like no stretch to it. But I do like the look of it and I probably won't be able to find it again in plus size anywhere near my size. But at the same time $60 is a lot for something that won't close. So I'm kind of going back and forth. Let me know if you think that I should send this back or whether you think that I should keep it. That has been my fashion haul, my first one. Hopefully it's successful and I do upload it. Let me know what you got for Christmas or things that you bought in the after Christmas sales 
or what or in the new year sales leave it below in the comments or as a video response i love hearing from you ta-ta as my five-year-old niece would say